and here we go guys thanks for tuning in to my latest racing video today we are racing at berry metro radio control car club this is outdoor championship 2023 round two this is qualifying round four we had a good one of qualifying one and two three we struggled a little bit as the heavens opened up but hopefully in qualifying round four we can do all right so here's the um the results from qualifying round three it i think it depends on your um fastest time that kind of like determines where you start on the on the grid but josh was first scott was second stuart third ian fourth i was fifth like i say i struggled in that one robert is six christopher is seventh gabriel in eighth jack in ninth so yeah hopefully we can get away get up to speed get a good lap in get a good race get some good times get a good position for the finals which is next just a bit of a heads up we do all right in the finals me and scott have an awesome race always good to race against scott so yeah let's jump straight into it and see how we get on it's still very wet not pouring yeah. down like it was in the re previous oh. race but on astro turf at candlelight keeps his water i had a bit of a finger spasm there into that first corner i don't want don't know what happened to be there but your finger sometimes just has a mind of its own so hopefully we can get up to speed staggered start racing against the clock try and get keep some clear track around me don't want to um, slow down too much when you're getting into the groove because you'll have cars on your tail we're going to the banking so fluctuating weather throughout the day but it was pretty much consistently raining so on the um, silver cut staggers on the front and silver measures on the all day in this round i did put on some um some newer they weren't brand new but they were they maybe had one run on them silver cut staggers on the front and silver measures on the so we had a bit of a glitch in the matrix there another one like you say very tricky open it up down the street to this cave bank we run a little bit deep but yep clean racing all managed to get through no problem that tricky bump just before that corner catches a lot of drivers out i think that's um i think that's ian on my tail there oh i get it wrong on that tabletop it's carrying a bit too much speed but we didn't lose too much time luckily we landed on our wheels the lap one was a 30 bang on lap two was a 33 76 josh is currently winning it Stuart is second, Ian's third, and I'm in fourth. Lap three is a 34.77 car overturned, couple of cars overturned. Like I say, it's Sorry, happen Scott. happening to everybody. Given Scott a bit of a shout there for uh, waiting to come together. The ring order at two minutes is two, three, one, four, eight. Yeah, so I ho hope you like this new info that I'm adding to the videos, this uh, live data. It's always good when you're at a track and you can get an internet connection. Able to get these extra details into the race. The lap 4 was a 31 21. Still haven't hit our fastest lap. We haven't. I don't think we've properly got up to speed yet. Oh, that corner. You just get a bit eager with the half throttle. Go. Where we are, we're still holding on to that fourth spot. Oh, we jumped up to third. Ian's jumped up to first. Stuart second, me third. Got me fourth. Looks like Scott or someone's got it wrong on the tabletop. Yep, Scott. Here we go. Down the steps. Might be a decent lap. settle down no we're still not hitting our best but like you say the weather very much had the downpour the previous race as you can see the um rooster tails coming off the car surprisingly though berry has changed a lot of the astro turf as you can see the more greener sections a lot of it's been changed and it's really improved the grip level yeah. 
lap seven is my fastest lap of the race, which is 29 bang on. But yeah, but, uh, very quick lap compared to the other lap. Getting past the back marker. The running order at four minutes. We're up into second three, with Scott four, in first. Five, two, one, oh, that, nine, don't eight, why I keep skidding seven, out there. Six. Oh, oh. A little bit deep. Scott behind. But e equally matched on speed. We've got around the overturn car. Close racing. Lap 8 was a 30 73. Stuart Robinson's first, I'm second, Scott's third, Josh is in fourth. Nine is a 29.09, quite a good lap. Still, well, still off uh, my best lap, but having a good, good tussle there with Scott. He's not one of them drivers that'll just throw it up the inside and cross his fingers. Very clean driver. On we go. Open her up. Oh, opens her up a bit too early. Trying to catch Scott, but yeah. See where he comes. Oh, he skids out. Oh. oh, that was awesome. Yeah, so Stuart was fastest. I was second. Scott was third. Josh, fourth. Five. Yeah, boys. But it's all about just pushing the car, trying to find them extra temps. Pushing your luck and just seeing Eight. Lady Luck's gonna let you do your thing or she's gonna shut the door. So here we go. To the results so Stuart was first with 10 laps in the fastest lap at 27.82 I was second with 10 laps in the fastest lap at 29 bang on Scott was third with 10 laps in the fastest lap at 28.45 Josh was fourth with nine laps in the fastest lap at 27.47 Christopher was fifth with nine laps in the fastest lap at 32.22 Robert was sixth with nine laps in the fastest lap at 31.47 Ian was 7th with 6 laps in the fastest lap at 29.21 and Gabriel was 8th with 3 laps in the fastest lap at 32.51 Jack didn't run I think this is the point where Ian's having problems with his transponder not picking up all his laps Gabriel must have had a retirement Yep, on to the lap times First lap wasn't too bad 2 and 3, slow ones Picked it up for lap 4 through to lap 7, decent one on lap 8, lap 9 was also a good one, and lap 10 was a slow one of 15. Yeah, them two sec second and third laps were pretty slow. Our best in qualifying round 3 was 32, 33, 23, and our best in this round was 31, 35. So we knocked a good two seconds off um, our lap times there. So onto the championship results. So Chris is winning it, Stu second, Tony Parr third, Andrew fourth, Peter fifth, Neil sixth, Kevin Hodgkins can seven, Chris eighth, Stuart ninth, and Darren in tenth. If you see your name, just drop us a like, just helps the YouTube algorithm, pushes the content out there, this small channel, people who might be looking into getting into RC club racing. And there we go, 52 out of 67. Much higher than this time last year, boys. As always, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah.